Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of equations and inequalities, specifically how we can solve them, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have an equation, 4x minus 17 equals 43, and an inequality, negative 2x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 13. And how do we solve these? Well, we need to go back to something we learned in 5th grade our order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Or we think of them as the parentheses. So this is our top level, right? And then we've got our exponents. That's our next level. And we think of the multiplication and division. Those are kind of on the same level. They are inverse operations. And so is the addition and subtraction. Those are also on the same levels. So what we're looking for is we always want to do one thing, and that is to isolate the variable. We need to get the variable. In this case, it's going to be x for both of these. We need to get that by itself. And how do we do that? Well, we actually start from the bottom up. We actually start here, and we look to see, is there a way that, in this case, let's start with our 4x minus 17 equals 43, so we have that equation there. So I have this 4x on this side, so I'm wanting to get that all by itself. The x on one side of the equal sign, everything else on the other side. So what do I take care of first? Well, what I do is I take care of the bottom layer first, because this is the, the final thing that we do in our order of operations. It's the first thing we do if we're trying to isolate the variable, because it's the weakest operation. So I've got a minus 17. So there's my subtract right there. And so I'm going to use the inverse of minus. That is going to be a plus. So we're going to plus 17 to both sides. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. right? So minus 17 plus 17, that cancels itself out. So I've got a 4x equals, and I've got that's going to be 0, 60. All right. So 4x equals 60. I don't have any add or subtract left. So now I um, need to look at multi multiply and divide. And when you have a number next to a letter, when you get your coefficient right here is my coefficient next to my variable. If there's no operation, it is implied that it is multiplication. So the inverse of multiplication, we're doing this next, is division. So let's divide both sides by 4. And 4 divided by 4 makes 1, so that gets us what we need. 60 divided by 4, that makes 15. So x equals 15. If you were to go in and plug 15 in right here, right, you would get 60 minus 17 equals 43, which is a true statement. Now, same thing works over here for our inequality. So we've got this negative 2x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 13. So we're going to start from the bottom, and you see that we've got an addition that is on the same side. That's the x we want to isolate. So I've got this plus 7, and so I want to use the inverse operation. I want a minus 7, so I'm going to do that. I need to do that on that side. So I'm going to get negative 2x greater than or equal to, and that's going to be 6. 13 minus 7 is 6. So once again, it's going to be multiplication that's actually being uh, operated here. I'm multiplying by a negative 2. So what I need to do is I need to divide both sides by negative 2. All right, so negative 2 minus uh, divided by negative 2 is just x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 6 divided by negative 2 is going to be negative 3 because I've got a positive. Think of this as a positive. And a negative. Now, something strange happens when we are solving for a variable in an inequality, greater than, less than, in this case it's a greater than or equal to, and we multiply or divide by a negative. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative, you actually flip or reverse the inequality. So this is going to be x is less than or equal to negative 3. And that is going to be the solution. Remember, whenever you multiply or divide by a, a negative, you are going to reverse the inequality.